what I'm talking about. Wait! Okay now, from the beginning. Hit it, boys. Good morning, Miracle Swingers. I am fired up because I'm headed to the golf course to play in my skins game with all the top guys in the area. And finally, I feel like I've arrived and I've been picking up some skins the last few weeks. So I'm feeling really good about my game. Now, today I'm going to take you through a driver session at Angeles National where I'm working on my magic move. You guys all know I'm singing the praises of going over the top. I used to be a drop it under guy. It's what everybody's talking about, and I think it's a bunch of garbage. That's just how I feel. My swing is so much better that I'm taking it inside and over the top in transition. So we're going to take a very close look at the difference between my old swing and my new swing. And uh, thank you. I've had a lot of subscribers that have been asking for this. Now, you subscribers to MSE TV, you can check out this full length driver tip video on myswingevolution.com. As always, I have it posted under the new videos section, but I also put it up under my driving evolution and daily driving lessons because. This is a great driver video that's going to explain to you how I'm using my OTT swing to play the best golf of my life. Now, the next MSC Intensive is July 2nd in Tampa, Florida. That's going to be a big one. I hope you guys will come out. Pick up the over-the-top miracle swing if you want to hit the best golf shots of your life. And don't forget to sign up for MSC TV, which gives you the over-the-top miracle swing and all of my ongoing research as I dig deeper and deeper into the swing that's changed my life. So let's dig in to today's driver video. All right, guys, let's take a look at some of my driver swings. Here I'm practicing my figure eight over the top move. Now, a lot of people have said, man, your swing doesn't look any different. Um, it feels quite a bit different. Here you can see me working on getting that club in front of me. And the result is a smoking hot piped drive. Yeah, that's a pretty big one. Hitting a lot of big balls today. I think I am the longest I've ever been. This uh, over the top swing is, is a miracle and Granted, my swing fingerprints will always look the same, but when we take a closer look, I think you'll be surprised. I'm just ripping these golf balls. These swings are great from this angle. You can really get the feeling that I'm hitting down hard and through on the golf ball. It's a much more professional feeling and looking release to me. Like that just looks like what it's supposed to look like. And again, right here in transition is the magic move. That club's coming more over my shoulder. I'm not dropping it under. Again, right through here, I'm tipping that club more over the top and that puts it in a great position right here for me to clear and hit down and through that ball. If we watch here you can see that nice steady head through the hip. Just pounding the living daylights out of that thing. There's another one, piping hot, piping hot. So we'll take a look at this compared to one of my famous swings that I have in my ads that I show from my old drop it under move. You guys remember this swing? Playing at Brookside, oh my gosh, this is such a nightmare. This is a long, difficult hole. Sorry, I don't have the beginning of it. I, I searched for it. But what we can see 
is this is the old school, you got to lay it off, you got to drop it under. And all it leaves me is stuck. And all I can try and do is flip. The dreaded flip, trying to look at that club head flipped over. Too late, face was open at impact. Cut right across it and put it in the trees. Oh my gosh. I, guys, I could time this on good days. I could keep it fairly straight, but man, I'd try and hit a hard one like this. This hole's like 470 yards. I don't know, it's a long hole playing from the gold tees, and I just can't. It's just terrible. But if we take a look at these two swings side by side, you know, people are going to say, ah, it's basically the same swing. It doesn't look any different to me. You know, but to me, it feels way, way different. And if we look at it side by side, we're going to notice a couple things. First of all, the backswing for me is more inside and up, and I want to point that club head at the target or across the target line. I want to be across the line at the top. Look at the difference in where those clubs are pointing. Okay, so I'm already stuck on the left. Now we're going to see me go over my shoulder on the right. This is this is the key difference and it's subtle but it feels huge. I'm pulling down over my shoulder. See that shaft? Whereas on the left it's just laid off. I can I can move it pretty fast pulling it but throwing it down and over has me in a way better position. I've also got a little better position with my legs underneath me as well so I can keep the pressure I'm always saying can keep the pressure on top of the shaft better here that energy is centrifugal force which is just going to be flying out away from me whereas on the right I have more centripetal force where I'm holding the circle into myself and there's no no crazy flip like I have on the left so I have another angle. I, I couldn't decide which one I liked more. So let's take a look at this swing. Just clocked out there. Nice little baby fade. So if we look at these two swings together, oh, it looks like the same swing, man. You're not doing anything different. Well, we're going to take a look at this one from another point of view. I'm going to add a circle to my right arm so we can see the internal rotation of my right arm. This is the big, big deal here. Okay, left arm parallel, taking it to the top. We can see that on the right, club head pointing at the target. On the left, it's laid off. Now, this is the key. I've talked about letting that right arm kind of externally rotate in the bad way on the left, where I'm going to internally rotate on the right. You see that? Look at my forearm, my right forearm on the right. I'm pulling that thing down over. I'm going over the top. And I'm throwing, I've got my right arm like I'm throwing a ball down into the ground. Whereas on the left, I'm just leaving it hanging behind me. Because, hey man, arms come along for the ride. You got to lay it off. You got to have spaghetti arms. I believed that. I was taught that. But it doesn't work for me. So let's, let's look at this again. Watch the right arm on the right that it internally rotates, not external. Now this is going to put me in a way better position, even though at this frame it looks fairly similar. 
the pressures in the body and in my hands are completely different. Way better delivery position on the right. We can see that I'm just throwing that energy down through the ball towards the target. No crazy flip. And that takes me up to a balanced finish. Guys, the over-the-top miracle swing is the absolute bomb. There's no better swing in my opinion. It's changed my life. It'll change yours. So go to myswingevolution.com. Do you have trouble slicing the golf ball? How many times have you heard people tell you you're swinging over the top? That's your problem. You might just have a couple of things wrong that are keeping you from being able to hit the golf ball straight. What if I told you the natural motion of swinging over the top is actually the best way to hit the golf ball? Would you think I'm crazy? Everyday players to PGA Tour professionals are figuring this out and it's changing their games forever. Do you think uh, you picked up some yardage since we've been working uh, on this stuff? On the driver, at least 50 to 60 yards. It's dynamite. It's crazy. You don't have to be stuck with an over-the-top slice. You can actually have an over-the-top swing and pound it long and straight. So go to MSE TV and watch the over-the-top miracle today. Transform your game at myswingevolution.com.